Have you ever tried holding your breath for as long as you can? Let's try it together. Ready? Deep breath in. Hold, hold. Pause a few seconds. Okay. Breathe out. How did that feel? Did you notice how your body was begging you to breathe again? That's because our respiratory system is always working hard to keep us alive. Today, we'll discover how our body takes in air, uses it, and keeps us breathing every single second. By the end of this lesson, you will be able to identify the parts of the respiratory system, the nose, windpipe, and lungs. Describe their functions. Demonstrate how air moves in and out of our lungs using a simple lung model. Recognize some common respiratory ailments and learn how to keep our lungs healthy. Let's test what you already know about the respiratory system. I'll show you three statements each time. Two are true and one is a lie. Can you spot the lie? Let's go! Excellent! You spotted the lies. Now that we've reviewed what you know, let's explore how the respiratory system really works. Imagine this. A fire breaks out in a house. Some people don't die from the flames, but from suffocation. Why do you think that happens? Correct. Smoke blocks the airways, and the lungs cannot get enough oxygen. Without oxygen, our body shuts down. This is why learning about the respiratory system is very important. It's the system that keeps us alive. Let's look at the three main parts of the respiratory system. The nose is the entrance. It doesn't just let air in. It also filters dust, warms the air, and helps us smell. The windpipe or trachea is like a highway for air. It connects the nose and mouth to the lungs. Inside, tiny hairs called cilia help trap dirt and germs. The lungs are like two spongy balloons. Inside them are millions of tiny sacs called alveoli. This is where oxygen enters our blood and carbon dioxide leaves our body. Every time you breathe in, your lungs fill with oxygen. Every time you breathe out, you release carbon dioxide. It's teamwork in action. Now, let's do a simple activity. Sit comfortably and place one hand on your chest and the other on your belly. Take a deep breath in through your nose and slowly breathe out. Which hand moved more, your chest or your belly?
When your belly moves, that means your diaphragm, a muscle below your lungs, is working. It contracts and pulls downward when you inhale, making space for the lungs to expand. When you exhale, it relaxes and pushes air out. That's how breathing happens. Now, let's make a simple lung model. All you need is a plastic bottle, two balloons, and a rubber sheet. As you pull the rubber sheet down, the balloons expand, just like your lungs during inhalation. When you push it up, the balloons deflate, just like exhalation. Amazing, right? Our lungs work every second of the day to keep us alive by giving us oxygen. But did you know that some habits and surroundings can harm our lungs? And there are also illnesses that can make it hard for us to breathe well. In this activity, we will test what you know about respiratory ailments and learn which habits keep our lungs strong and healthy. Read each statement carefully and decide if it is true or false. Let's see how well you can protect your lungs. Breathing keeps us alive, so we must protect our lungs. Avoid smoking, cover your nose and mouth when sneezing, and stay away from polluted areas. A healthy lifestyle means a healthy respiratory system. Let's summarize. The respiratory system is made up of the nose, trachea, and lungs. These parts work together to make sure oxygen enters our body and carbon dioxide leaves it. Without this system, we cannot survive even for a few minutes. Here's a question for you to think about. If you were to make a slogan to remind people to take care of their lungs, what would it be? Write your answer and share it with your classmates or family. Breathe easy, stay healthy, and see you in our next science adventure. With guidance from your teacher, complete the following activity.